Oh, Frankie and Johnny, the next big house. My uh, flat ones. There's two of them. There's one of 40 in the garment district. And there's one. That's a really old school. First thing I'll like do is cover up the sweat panel for a stiff in it. Oh, Frankie and Johnny, the one in the, in the theater district. Shut that's, up. A up. that's a really old school. Shut up. Okay, here we go. Shut up. Yeah, the newer ones, they make them look like this. There's a big Akeelin, so we have a 30-year-old Alright, so let's spray it. Are the Akeelin's big house? My girl and I went there a few years ago for her birthday. No. $350. I mean, it's kind of old. Yes. Totally, yes. You want to go? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're videoing here, too. Well, I need to, I need to uh, speed my shirt. That's tacky, though. Steaming your shirt So, a steamer can also be used for a shirt. Yeah, it's tacky. We're going to take this little moment to block Adam's steaming of his gross white shirt. Let me show you this little hat. That was given to me by uh, this rock star guy, and his name is uh, Mr. Johnny Depp. And it's just my hat. I'm just getting there. Uh, Steam it up as soon as Adam. Uh... Hurry up! Hurry up! Alright, check that out. Hello. How are you? Great, thanks. Gonna dry the old hat, the old-fashioned way. Dry that sucker. Oh, so much so are you? gonna dry that sucker out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, let's try to steam her up. Let's dry. See how she responds. It's all not so not so hot. So something flat. So far, not so, not so hot, so let's see how flat we can get it. Possible we need to add more steps. Not so hot, sir. No. Well, it's not getting flat. I think so. I think that's why it's going to be a bottle. And if it is getting flat, it's not holding its flat. So that's not bad. Getting too long, you getting too long. Basically just steaming and flattening, stiffening. Probably gonna re require more than one coat of stiffening. I guess, I predict. What happens, it starts curling. Why am I talking like Forrest Gump? It starts curling. <laughs> All right, wait. It's not flat, totally not flat. I mean, it's flat-ish, but not really flat. Anybody wants to give me a thumbs down on this video, just go ahead and give it. <laughs> kind of deserves it. All right, we're going to need to give it another coat of stiffener. It's flattening, but like maybe 50% of what I want. Sometimes you don't get the desired results. It means you have to let it dry, put another coat on, keep stiffening. It also mean the hat was made badly. That's just too thin. The felt is too thin, too soft. It's just too crap felt. Or all three, or just maybe two of those factors. You can use weights, heavy weights. If you have something super heavy, I mean like really heavy, like a big giant sack of rice or something super heavy, uh, 110 pound weight set or something, just get all the plates, you know? But you need to put something soft on top of it, like some t-shirts or something. Um, otherwise, you know, the books or weights, like this thing here, this might be heavy, but it would dig in and leave a line. So you put some soft cotton t-shirts first, then the weight on top of it. Uh, weights are good, they'll help to flatten things. Let's put it against a nice tabletop, flatten it while it's, you know, drying like this. You get curling. Or wavy brims, it generally means 
it's felt inferior. It's too thin, or you need a lot more stiffener. Sometimes all of the above. Some of these companies, they just don't stiffen it in the so they just basically don't so use enough drawing, felt. The felt is too thin. And rather than to stiffen the hell out of it and make it rain worthy and really functional, they keep it soft. Because people like soft hats. They feel luxurious and they sell better. And then when the hats fail, people blame themselves, not the hat company. This is it. I'm whistleblowing. So, the hat's not saying straight. It doesn't mean you screwed up. A lot of times it means the hat is subpar. If you paid 30 bucks for it, it's made in China. You know, good luck. But if you paid 200, 300, and it's an expensive hat, and it's made in USA, Europe, someplace nice. You know, I have seen thousand dollar hats from Gucci and places like that that are just cheap hats, you know. But if it's a good hat, an expensive hat, it should perform well. So, any problems, ask me. Anyway, this needs another color stiffener, so we we'll can continue on this. So, let's give it a little more. Right now I'm out of larges, but they're really 